you know, uh, uh, you, uh, young lady, you're pretty hard to define. I mean, it's pretty hard to figure out where the heck you're coming from. You keep changing your mind or contradicting yourself well, with this semantics. You keep having this battle of wits that is nothing but semantics. Nobody's right or wrong. Atheism is a word, just a label, so that we can explain to each other in a very easy, simple term that we don't believe there are any gods. And it's not just that. I hold no belief in any gods, deities, supernatural, all-creating, focus on little human creatures, deities. That doesn't mean I don't think there's life in other places in the universe. I believe there is. Well, I know there is. I've seen it. And this thing about this on um, you know omnipotent, omniscient God, that's the God we're talking about. We're talking when when you know when we argue God, we're arguing the Christian God, basically. You know, the Jewish Christian uh, the the Abrahamic God. And this God it's something that you get that's akin to basically a magician. It's just, you know, they're worshipping a magician. Uh, it's basically people that are too stupid to understand science. And so they seem to think that just because they can't prove evolution or they don't believe it, that automatically there's God by default. And it seems almost like what you're doing. That because you can't specifically go to the other side of the universe and experience yourself and be sure there's no God, well then you still believe in God. You said it. I mean, if you want to argue semantics, you're not a you're not an atheist. In the semantics world, you're a you're a believer. You're a deity believe you believe that there's a deity out there somewhere. That's what you said. Those are your words, young lady, not mine. You know, instead of arguing the semantics, why don't you read the Bible itself, find all those silly contradictions and all the goofy shit that's in there, and bring those up. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you make a video about that to your Christian friends and other Christians about how ridiculous the book is? Instead of just trying to argue semantics about atheists. Is that all you got? What is, is this the best you could do? What does that mean, by the way? What are we supposed to do? We don't have a worship. We don't have a group, an organization. There's no church. There's no tithing. There's no Messiah, no Savior. There's no motto. Nothing. And that's the point. You seem to fail to understand that. Being intelligent doesn't always preclude you from ignorance, okay? So, think a little harder, read the Bible again, and then maybe you'll understand why we so adamantly do not believe in that God and realize and know that that God cannot exist. It's just illogical, and if it's not... If it doesn't make sense, it isn't true. That's all there is to it. If it doesn't make sense, it isn't true. But just because we haven't proven or shown what sense it makes, that doesn't mean that it yet doesn't make sense. But the Bible, now, if you read it and read it, read, you'll see it makes no sense. Like the story of Abraham and all that, you know, this supposed omnipotent, omniscient, all-powerful being tells him, to kill his son as a covenant with him, you know that? What? Come on. And that's why, another reason, I say there is no God, because I know those things were written by human beings. They're control tools, period. If they had to written that book in the first place, we wouldn't even have this crap going on. We probably wouldn't even be having this argument. Argument's not a bad word. All it means is a difference of opinion.
Fighting is different than arguing. Okay? That's right. I'm not trying to insult you or anybody else, except for Christians and people that believe in gods. I will ridicule them and insult them for the rest of my life because they deserve it. Especially these ones that go into places like Scientology and then cry and bitch and moan about how they were caught up in a cult. Blah, blah, blah. Well, if you weren't looking for a freaking deity superhero to help you save your life forever and ever or whatever you got in your freaking head, you wouldn't have got hung up in it. So it serves them right. And that's how I think about all that kind of stuff. Atheism is a word given to us by whoever. It's a real simple term. It means no theism. None. None. Period. Bam. No gods, deities, devils. You know, ghosts and spirits and things like that. That's a different story. Nobody's trying to worship them or, or put them up on a pedestal. But if a person tells you that you see a ghost and it has clothes on, it wasn't a ghost. I mean, maybe your body might modify and go to a different form of energy, but your clothes aren't going <laughs> to. They're going to rot away. You understand that? So if a ghost appears and it has clothes on or robe or something, it's just you're seeing things. Okay, Remember that. Anyway. <laughs> well, that's just, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, this is, spirituality can be really silly. Sometimes it can be something, and they're just trying to explain the way the world works. That's what they were doing, personifying everything. Everything had to have come from a god because they didn't know, because they don't get it. <laughs> Even nowadays, these people are so stupid. Just because they can't understand science, they automatically assume it's a deity that magically created everything. That's so it's easy for them. It's lazy. Well, we'll see you later. That's my other answer. My answer to my answer to my answer. You take it easy. Have a good day. It is, uh, I believe, uh, Wednesday in uh, South Park will be on the night. Hope they show Muhammad. <laughs> that guy can really, that, that's it. That's just goofy that they allow religious zealots to actually threaten that and believe it enough to bleep a, whole, a cartoon. <laughs> it just amazes me. Yeah. And do I have the right to ridicule religion? Yes. You know why? Because it's a cult. And they're indoctrinating their children into these cults. And that's abuse. And I'll say it over and over and over again. And half the time, they even want to torture their kids or baby boys with circumcision. Oh, yeah, I will always bring that up when we talk about religion. But your thing about the semantics with the atheism, it, it just, there aren't any gods. It's real simple. Good night.